Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do the full review for the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. Now I'm gonna try to make this video as quick as I can, but y'all know that's all cap. This is gonna be a long one, so grab your popcorn and your thought juice and get comfortable. Now I'm gonna start off by answering a couple of questions. Number one, you got a Samsung Galaxy S21, S21 Plus, or the S21 Ultra 5 Gangster. Should you upgrade and get the Z Flip 3? The answer is no. Okay? If you do that, that's what we call hustling backwards. All right? And if you don't know what that means, don't get high in your own supply. You want to move forward. Okay? You don't want to move backwards. If you upgrade from the S21 to the Z Flip 3, you're going backwards. All right? You're losing camera, losing battery, losing display. Next, you got a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5 Gangster. Should you upgrade and get the Z Flip 3? The answer again is no, all right? You're going backwards. Now, I would say upgrade for only one reason, and that's only if you wanna become a flipologist, all right? If you're just bored, all right, because that's a valid reason. If you're just bored of this phone and you wanna get your flip on, okay, then upgrade. But specs, <laughs> camera, battery, display you're going backwards now speaking of upgrading should you upgrade if you got a galaxy z flip or the z flip 5g and the answer is definitely 100 percent. now let's talk about some of the differences from the two phones number one the z flip 3 now you got ipx8 water resistant now that alone is worth the price I, that alone is worth the price of the upgrade, but wait, there's more. I right, shout out to Billy Mays. Wait, there's more. Next, 120 hertz refresh rate. All right, now some people might not notice that, but the hardcore nerds, you're gonna feel the difference. Next, now you got better glass on the front and a better hinge. All right, so the, the glass on the front and the hinge, they're more stored, uh, sturdy and more durable. Next, now here's the two biggest differences and the two main reasons to upgrade. You see shoes looking at me all cute. Dual speakers, all right? Now with the Z Flip 3, you got dual stereo speakers. With the original Z Flip and the 5G, you only got one bottom firing speaker <laughs> and that was kind of trash. And lastly, all right, now we're not even talking about the process and the GPU. We're talking about upgrades that you're actually gonna notice Here's the biggest upgrade, the outer display. Look at the difference, see how small that is? And look at this one, okay? Now you got a bigger outer display and you got always on display. All right, always on display, that's huge. This was kind of a gimmicky experiment kind of phone. Now this is a real phone, all right? This is a phone that you can use as your daily phone comfortably. All right, now, just like any other video that I do, there's always gonna be things that I don't like, so let's talk about those first. But since we got shoes looking all cute, first things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes, I white love shoes. my white shoes. Calm down, all right, right on the paw. Let's talk about everything that I don't like, okay? Now, there's a couple of things here, so <laughs> get comfortable. Number one, the price, 1,000 bucks, the price is TGH, all right? Now, if you don't know what that means, that's too get damn high, all right? This phone should have been 750 to 800 bucks at max because it's missing a lot of things and it's still kind of gimmicky, all right? It's still kind of gimmicky. 1,000 bucks, that's official flagship prices and this is TGH. Next, no charger in the box. Now, y'all know how I feel about that. I hate it, all right? I hate that shit. Shout out to Apple for starting that garbage trend, all right? No charge in the box. Now, look, when I did the Fold video, a lot of people were saying, oh, well, just get used to it. All of the companies are doing it. Just get used to it. Let me show you something real quick. You don't have to get used to it, okay? Now, shout out to my man Gibson. This is your phone that you won on the stream the other night, but I put it back in the box for dramatic effects so people can understand that this is a 1000 bucks. All you get is a cable. This is 500 bucks. Let me show you what you get. All right, for 500 bucks, inside the box, look at this. You get a case, all right, a case for your phone. Not only do you get a case, look at this. You get a fast charging brick, okay? <laughs> fast charging brick and the phone. 
but 500 bucks, same processor, better display, dual speakers, 500 bucks, okay? We're talking about 1,000 bucks, no charge in the box, no headphones, no dongle, no nothing. I don't like that, okay? 1,000 bucks, let's, let's, um, let's normalize calling out these companies, let's break this trend, all right? Shout out to Apple, they started this bullshit. Let's try to break it, all right? We all gotta stick together, put the goddamn charger in the box, okay? Dramatic pause, all right? <laughs> Add the silence for the dramatics. Next, no expandable memory. Now, that's not the biggest deal in the world, but especially with a kind of with a phone like this, this is kind of a vintage kind of phone, which is kind of targeted toward people over 40 years old, in my opinion, because anybody over 40 years old, you had a flip phone. So when you seen this one right now, this is gonna give you that nostalgia, you know, bring you back to your youth of flipping phones. So if you're over 40 years old, chances are you still got micro SD cards laying around. Or if you're into photography, you're taking a lot of pictures all day, Having expandable memory is important, all right? Now look, some of this petty stuff that y'all might think is petty, it's actually not. And the thing that you gotta keep in the back of your mind is the price, okay? Now, if this was 500 bucks, half of the stuff that I'm saying I don't like right now, I wouldn't even mention because who cares? But when you're paying a thousand bucks, all right? That's flagship level prices. A thousand bucks right now could get you the Mi 11 Ultra. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So just keep that in perspective. No expandable memory, I don't like that. Next, now speaking of expandable memory, this only comes in 128 or 256 gigs of storage. That ain't enough, okay? For a thousand bucks, they need to have a 512 gig version, and I would say one terabyte, why not? All right, why not? But at least 512, because if you shoot 4K video, which this phone is capable of, you take a lot of pictures, you download a lot of apps, you can easily go through 256 gigs before you even know it. And if you don't believe me, ask Amaya, all right? Every time she pulls out her phone to take a picture, sometimes she can't take a picture because her memory's full. All right, more storage, we need that. All right, 512 gigs on a $1,000 phone should be mandatory. Next, now this is something that I really don't like, the battery. 3,300 milliamps, that ain't enough, all right? The battery on this, I'm not gonna say it's trash, but it's, it's, all right, if you take out the garbage, I, you ever see, like, you put some garbage on the top of the trash? And it's not really garbage because if you catch it in time, you can still use it. I right, say you throw out, you throw out your old charger on the top of the garbage, and you say, oh, you know, I, I think I might need that. It didn't really go into the trash. It's just at the top of the trash, so it's not really trash per se. That's how the battery on this phone is. It's not really trash, but it's kind of trash. It's at the top of the garbage, all right? Now, look. If you're running the phone the way that I run it, 120 hertz refresh rate, always on display, max display brightness, get all your notifications, push time and fast, you're gonna burn through this battery in four hours without a doubt, okay? Now, if you wanna make it last a full day, you can, okay? Turn off the always on display, turn down the refresh rate, turn down your push notifications, turn your, uh, your screen brightness down, put on battery saving. There's a lot of tips and tricks you could do but you just spent a thousand bucks. When you flip this shit, you want to flip it with pride. Bang! You want it to be bright like this. All right. When you flip it, you want people to see that video lock screen in full glory. You know. You ever hit a side note? You ever got somebody? I'm gonna pull out my phone and show you something real quick. This is what happens with Amaya every day. All right. Amaya will be like, "This is what she does." She'll be like, "I'm gonna show you right now." And it's so annoying. She's like, "Dad, check this out. Look at you seen this YouTube video?" And she pulls out her phone like this because her battery is always dead. She she always got her brightness like this. Now here's how my brightness normally looks. Like when I pull out my phone and I want to show you something, I'll say, "Okay, look at this YouTube video." Bang, like this. Okay, now don't be one of those people that's always walking around with a dead battery. Put your brightness up. Enjoy it. Which brings back to my which brings me back to my point. The battery is basically at the top of the trash, so you're not going to be able to fully rock the phone or max everything for too long. Okay, so this phone should have had, I would say, at least four thousand milliamp battery, but I would even I would even take it a little bit more thick. All right and have more battery. Sometimes the thinnest and lightest ain't always the way to go, all right? Thinnest and lightest, if you're gonna substitute thinnest and lightness for battery, that's that's not an even trade in my book. Let's keep it moving. Next, 
Speaking of battery, now here's something else I don't like. If you already got a battery that's at the top of the trash, 15 watt fast charging, you know, every time I say that, I kind of almost make myself laugh. 15 watt fast charging. No, it's 15 watt charging. All right, not 15 watt fast charging, 15 watt charging. 15 watt charging, that ain't enough, okay? With a battery this small, you're gonna burn through your battery. This should have had at least, come on, at least 25, okay, that's still not enough for me. All right, when you're using phones like this, you're gonna realize that 25 watts, that ain't enough. 15, that's whack. Now, one more thing I wanted to mention, because I know here come all of the Samsung apologists. Now look, y'all know I love Samsung as much as the next man. I got a big Samsung tattoo on my forehead like the rest of y'all Samsung knights. But at the same time, I mean, I gotta keep it real. When you get used to using phones with 67 watt fast charging speeds, all right, you plug your phone in, shit, chow, and shave, and your phone is back to 100. This phone is always out of, what is that now? 95. I took this phone off the charger in Florida this morning. All right, at five o'clock in the morning, it's on 95%. I took this phone off at the same time, it's on 68%. Now, granted, I did use this one a couple of times, but still, all right? The Samsung apologists, they're getting ready to come out and say, oh, well, they did 15 watts on purpose because that prolongs the battery life. Come on, man, that's all cap, okay? These phones right now, first of all, most people are not really keeping this phone, especially a phone like this, you're not keeping it for five years, all right? You shouldn't even be really worried about battery degradation if you're not keeping your phone for five years. Now, if you're planning on keeping a phone for five years, then you know this ain't the kind of phone that you want. You're not keeping this. This is kind of a gimmicky, fun, experimental phone to have for a season or maybe a couple of seasons and then upgrade to something else. 15 watt fast, I almost said fast charge again. 15 watt charging, that's not enough. I don't like that. Next, I know this video is gonna be a train wreck. I'm all over the place. I just came off a flight, but we're gonna make it work. Next, camera, all right? Now the camera on this, it's okay, all right? It's not the best camera, it's not the worst camera, but my thing is, it's not this camera, all right? For a thousand bucks, you could get this camera. All right, so why, why settle for this camera? Now this camera, it's, it's okay, it's gonna get the job done, but you're not getting this camera. You can get this camera. This is one of the best Android cameras on the market. If you're heavy in photo into photography, you're gonna want this, all right? If you want the cinematic shots, all right, I got the word right today. All right, not the, if, you want, if you're into cinematography and you want the cinematic shots, you're gonna want a phone like this, 8K video. This one doesn't have 8K video. You only got 10 times zoom. The camera's okay, all right? The camera's okay. Like I said, if this phone was five, 600 bucks, I wouldn't even be mentioning the camera. I'd say, okay, the camera's dope. But for a thousand bucks, this is not a $1,000 camera. Next. Now, this is something that I really don't like also. No Samsung Dex, all right? Now, when I say Dex, that's D-E-X, all right? All y'all cheese dicks out there, Dex, D-E-X. No wired Dex and no wireless Dex. Now, look, if you watch my fold video, I show a clip on how I use my Samsung wireless Dex, D-E-X, all right? I just came back from out of town the first thing I do whenever I go somewhere, if they got a smart TV, I'm co I'm connecting my decks. All right, so this way, <laughs> DEX. I'm connecting my DEX. <laughs> I'm connecting both when I go out of town. But you, you know what I'm saying. The first thing I do is connect the DEX, and this way I can use my phone in my hand and also on the TV at the same time as a laptop. Use the phone as the mouse for the laptop. That is one of the most underrated features of Samsung phones. And now let me say this. If you got one of these phones, or you got the Z Fold, if you got any of these phones and you're not using Samsung Wireless DEX or DEX, you're doing yourself a disservice, all right? Look, I'm going off topic, but I just wanna say this to y'all. Get in the habit of playing with your phone, all right? When you're not doing nothing, don't just sit around on the gram looking at buns all day. Get into the habit of going through your phone settings, learning all of the different features, because just like anything else in life, everything is a gimmick unless you use it. All right, wireless charge is a gimmick if you don't use it, but if you got wireless chargers in your car, in your house, in your, in, inside your house, in the bathroom, wireless chargers everywhere you go, anytime it seems like you're putting your phone down and it starts wireless charging, that's not a gimmick anymore that's gonna become a feature that you're getting used to. The same thing with PowerShare. A lot of y'all got PowerShare on your phone and you're walking around with your kid and your kid has a dead battery, you're out on a dinner date and your date's battery is dead. 
You don't even realize how dope you could look by activating your power share and charging their phone. You're gonna look like a boss. Get in the habit of playing with features and learning them. Okay, get into that habit, which brings me back to my point of Samsung DEX, okay? This phone definitely should have had that for 1,000 bucks because I use that phone, I mean that phone, I use that feature immediately. Anytime I touch down somewhere, and even in my house, as soon as I touch down, the first thing I'm checking for is the DEX connection. Next, <laughs> DEX next, that, uh, hashtag bars, that kind of rhymed. Next, now here's another thing that um I don't like. The outer display. Now, even though this is an upgrade, the outer display, you can't reply to messages. All right, so say I got a message right now. All right, let's see. Uh, we got a message from Damien. Okay, let's see. What's up? I'm on your way yesterday picking up an M5. Oh, my man Damien picking up a new M5. Say I want to reply. I got to open the phone to continue. Now, this is one of the things that a lot of people that had the original Z Flip didn't like. Because even though, you know, you want to be a flipologist, that's why you're buying this phone. But a lot of times you got the phone on the table. You, you, you know, you don't want to have to always open the phone. And especially if you're not a flipologist, then you got to use two hands. A lot of people to this day really going like this to open their phone with two hands. Okay. Now, look, I go like this. I'm a flipologist, but you don't have to do it that hard. I'm, I'm doing that because I want to show you how the phone is durable. You could pry it open like this. And just do it slow. You could wing it open. I right? like you could do it like this. And bang, it's open. You don't gotta be like me. Uh, you don't have to do it like that. But you can. The point of me doing that in these videos is not because I'm trying to break the phone on purpose or I'm just being a heavy-handed savage. I want y'all to see that the phone is durable. And I want y'all to see that this is my this is not the Z Flip 5G. This is the original Z. I almost dropped it. This is the original Z Flip. I hear people talking about, oh, the display is going to break and all that. This is the original, the first Z Flip that came out. Look at the display. Look at the hinge. All right. Now, if it was if it was all wobbly and warped, the hinge wouldn't stay like this after all those beastly flips. And y'all haven't even seen my drunk flips. My drunk flips is even worse. Or my iPhone, my iPhone war flips when somebody got an iPhone and I really want to stunt. Those flips is even worse. OK, so one of the things that a lot of people didn't like about this is a lot of stuff you can't do from the outer display. Now, this one, it is a huge upgrade with the outer display, but I still wish you could have just replied to a message like I wish I could have just seen this message, and hit reply and the keyboard popped up. That would make this phone so much more user friendly instead of having it on the, I say I had it on the table right now. I hit reply. I could have just started typing. Now I got to go like this. Now, if I one hand on the table action. That's a little bit harder. That's a, you know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a whole process. Ain't nobody doing that. All right, so out of display, you should have been able to reply to text messages. Next. Now, y'all know they call me Petty Roosevelt. I do have some petty gripes. So let's run through those real quick. Number one, no headphone jack. That shit's whack. Hashtag bars. I said it before. I'm going to say it again. I use the aux cable all of the time. I use DJ controllers. I like to have a headphone jack. Now, I had a big argument with this kid the other day. <laughs> he was like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. This is the headphone jack right here. You just use a USB Type-C connector. One has a USB, the other head has, has 3.5. So I'm saying to myself, all right, so you watched my whole video. You heard me complain about the dongle. What did you think I was talking about when I said dongle? I, that that's just in case you don't know, that's what the dongle is. I mean, just because, you know, nowadays you got to really clarify a lot of stuff. The dongle is that little part that goes in here, USB-C, and the other one is 3.5. That, that, okay, that works. You can plug in your headphones, but that's not the same as having a headphone jack because when I got my DJ controller plugged in, I want to have my phone plugged into power and then my DJ controller plugged into the phone. Now, you can buy a splitter for that, but if there was a headphone jack, you wouldn't need that. Hashtag boss. Yo, I'm, I, I'm, yo, I'm spitting a whole verse in this video. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, next, no IR blaster. OK, now, like I said earlier, I just came back from Florida maybe about two hours ago. Soon as I got to the Airbnb, I looked around the room and they had a TCL TVs everywhere. I just pulled out my phone, paired it up. Bang. Now I'm using my phone as the remote control. Now, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Why not just use the remote control? I was in Florida. They got the covids out there. Uh, there's a lot of covids out there. So I went see TCL TV, had the TCL TV plugged in, hit remote. Bang, change all of the channels, all right? I, I'm trying to touch the least things as possible because I don't want the COVIDs, all right? Uh, let, me, let me rephrase that, I don't want the COVIDs again. I already had it and I don't want it again. 
Next. Now, this is ultra petty video wallpapers. Now, again, I know I got to clarify everything because here come the YouTube correction officers. I'm not talking about apps that you download while uh, live wallpapers. I'm talking about you used to have the Samsung stock feature where you could just record a video and set it as your wallpaper. Now, a lot of people be asking me about this one. This is not a wallpaper from the app store. This is me driving my car through the car wash. I just made a video, recorded it, and set it as my lock screen wallpaper. But it's only lock screen. You used to, you used to can have it as a wallpaper for your home screen. That was dope. I, 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 I missed that feature. That was part of my flex. All right, now, when you when you get the app and you get the live, you know, um, the video wallpapers from the apps, some of them are buggy. Some of them have malware. Some of them have app, uh, ads in it. I don't like downloading too many unnecessary apps if I don't have to. Next. Now, this is ultra petty also, but this just applies to this phone. This phone should have had an open and closed sound. All right, now, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. And I know, now, for all y'all Star Trek nerds out there, imagine, y'all see me at the end of the video. Now, if y'all don't know what this is, this Star Trek communicator, look at this. You hear that sound? When you open it up? Imagine if I could have set that for this. You know, open, like a transformer sound or anything. How dope would that have been? An open sound and then a closed sound. That would have been sick. All right, so Samsung, if y'all watching this video, this is a flip phone. People are going to be flipping it. At some point, people are going to learn how to do it with one hand because I see a lot of people like, oh, I can't do it with one hand. At some point, people are going to learn that you could just pry it open, you know, and do it gently and then work it in. But it should have made that sound. You know what I'm saying? That would have been dope. Next, this is ultra petty also. No S Pen support. All right, now that would have been kind of dope because you got S Pen support on this phone for a thousand bucks, it's almost the same narrowness, all right? You got S Pen support on this phone. You know, all these new phones coming out with S Pen support, why not just make all of the new phones S Pen compatible, all right? Now, I already tried it. If you use this S Pen, the one from the fold, I tried it, it won't work. Not to mention you don't got air commands. All right, so S Pen, that would've been a nice feature. Just add it on the next version. And lastly, all right, now this is my last petty gripe. And this is what could have made this phone, I gotta get a wipe down so I can show y'all. This is what could have made this phone like one of the top phones this year. All of this empty space right here, this should have been one big display. Now you see last last year it was smaller, now it's bigger. So maybe they're working their way up. Samsung, I right, please, this big yellow piece right here, we don't need that. This could have been a full screen display. And then that way, when you get a text message, you could have easily had a full keyboard right there. And then this way, you can use the phone without having to flip it all the time because when you got your phone on the table, you're not going to want to flip it over. You're having drinks and you got a piece of chicken in your hand or something. You want to just be able to do stuff like this because I do that all the time, all right? Chicken grease all over your fingers. You're not going to want to have to pick up your phone and go like this. Now, granted, if you want to, you could just leave it like this. Uh, you could just leave it open on the table like that. But come on. You got a flip phone, ain't nobody, you know, you don't want to do that, all right? Come on, let's keep it real. You bought this phone because you want to flex. You're not going to just leave it open like this, all right? I, I never seen anybody with a Z Flip just leaving it open like this. Now, I know somebody's going to go, oh, I do it all the time. Oh, okay, okay. This is everybody but you. I know that one person typing right, no, I do that right now. Okay, okay. You just want to be the oddball, okay. But nobody else ain't doing that, all right? Most people, they, they got the phone like this, all right? So this whole screen, this should be a big screen right here. All right, and that could have made this one of the phones of the year. I don't care about the cameras and all that. Big giant screen on the outside. Now, I know what you're saying. That's a lot of dislikes. Maybe he don't like this phone. No, all right, that couldn't be further from the truth. I love this phone. I, I love this phone. And believe it or not, the flex slash floss factor on this phone is even higher than the Galaxy Z Fold 3. And I'm gonna tell you about that in a minute. Right after this quick commercial break, and I got to use my Brickstone fan and, and uh, cool off a little bit because you see I'm back here sweating bullets. All right, so if y'all seen any droplets hitting the phone, it's not spit. I right, look at my arms. This is literally one of the hottest days of the year, and I have to turn my AC and fan off, so here we go. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, so now let's talk about everything that I do like. Number one, color choices. Now, if you watch my videos, one of my petty gripes is usually phones don't come out in enough colors. Well, if you buy the Z Flip 3, now you got plenty of different colors to choose from. All right, so shout out to Samsung. They did it right on this one. 
Now also, let me give a quick shout out to Samsung. These are my review units, okay? My retail versions came in the mail today. I got Money Green for the Fold 3 and the Flip 3. Now, big shout out to Samsung. They did send me the Tom Brown edition, so I'm gonna unbox that tomorrow. Now, Samsung, if you're watching this video, I know what y'all probably saying. Yo, we just let you hold two review units. We, you know, we, we sent you a Tom Brown edition and you over here bashing our shit. What's wrong with you? Look, Samsung, it's, I'm only doing this because I love y'all, all right? I love y'all, I want y'all to be the best, so I gotta call out the stuff that I don't like, so hopefully y'all fix that on the newer phones, all right? I'm not just bashing y'all for the sake of bashing. I'm an official Samsung Knight. I appreciate y'all letting me hold these review units, even though I got my retail versions too, so technically I can say whatever I want, but the Tom Brown edition, I'm gonna unbox that tomorrow, all right? So shout out to Samsung for letting me rock that one. Next, let's talk about the build quality. Now the build quality is definitely an upgrade from last year's Z Flip and the Z Flip 5G. Uh, it feels a little bit more sturdy, the hinge feels stronger, the glass on the front, it still has that plastic feel to it and you could still see you know, a little bit of a crease, but the crease is something that you're just gonna have to deal with. All right, this is a foldable phone. We're not there yet where it's just one piece of flexible glass with no crease. You're gonna have to deal with that crease, but it's not bad. Now when you're watching this video, it might look like you can see a lot of crease, but let me pull up something like let's pull up Facebook. You really can't see it too much when you're watch when you like look, look here's a video right here. All right, look, here's Amaya moving into college. You see, you really can't see it. Now on the video, you're looking for it right now because we're talking about it. But if you got this phone in your hand and you're just scrolling around, you're not even gonna notice the crease. All right, the build quality in this phone is A1. Okay, it's durable, it's sturdy, it's IPX8 water resistant. I, you're not gonna have any issues with that. Don't buy this phone thinking that you gotta be sitting around babying it. All right, now, let me zoom out a little bit because I know what y'all came to see. Y'all wanna know why they call me a flipologist. Because I flipped this shit, all right? I spent a thousand bucks on mines, all right? And you spent a you thousand bucks on yours. Flip it, all right, flip it. Stop being that noob. Oh, let me check my phone messages. Oh, okay, good. No, you wanna flip this shit. Don't worry about it, it's not gonna break. All right, if, it's, if I'm doing this the way I'm doing it, you're not gonna break it, all right? The, the, the build quality and durability, my slogan is flip that shit. Next, let's talk about the look. All right, the look of this phone, let's get a little wipe down. The look of this phone is beautiful, okay? This is one of those beautiful looking phones that when you get it, you're probably gonna wanna put a case on it, but take the case off, all right? This is some advice I always give my friends when I see them with these big out-of-box cases when we're having dinner. Don't do that, all right? We're having dinner. What's gonna happen at the dinner table? The, the, the biggest thing that can happen is maybe you drop a, a shrimp on your phone, all right? You might spill a, a Hennessy shot on it. You don't need a big out-of-box case on your phone while you're sitting at a table. Take the case off and enjoy this marvel of technology. This phone is crafted so beautifully, you're gonna wanna enjoy it. T like Just for this video, because right now, I'll show you at the end, I got a bunch of cases, but when I'm in the house and I'm chilling somewhere, there's no case on the phone, I wanna feel it. Uh, you wanna get this phone in your hand because it feels good in the hands, ladies. You know the procedures. Speaking of feel, how does this phone make you feel emotionally? I uh, know that's something that I like to talk about. This is one of those phones that if you're over 40 years old, chances are you had a flip phone back in the days and you loved it, all right? Because I remember, you know, I'm gonna tell y'all a quick story. I know this video's off the rails. Back in the days, if you watch my old videos, when I did the HCC Evo video, I was like, yo, this phone is mad big. Oh, this, this, this phone is big, giant phone. Remember, we used to actually roast people, especially iPhone people. They used to roast when you had your Galaxy S1, the original Galaxy, or you had the Galaxy S2. Remember people that had the iPhone 4? They used to be like, oh, you walking around with that big Samsung phone. Back in the days, man, you wanted a smaller phone, but if you think about it, it makes sense because back in the days when we had the flip phones, there really wasn't no content to be, you know, watching all day on your phone. You didn't need a big screen. All you needed was enough so you could send a little text message and you just needed to make your phone calls. You know what I'm saying? Now, as the technology started get, getting more and more content became available, then you needed a bigger phone. But there's just something about having a flip phone if you're old school. And even if you young school, then you can get a piece of, get a, get a feel of how we used to do it. This phone is gonna make you feel emotionally like a boss, number one, because this is cutting edge technology. 
I, this is a foldable display. So you're going to feel like you're on the top of the food chain in the tech industry. But at the same time, it's going to give you that nostalgic feel of answering the phone and hanging up the phone with a flip. Now, let me show you what that looks like. Now, before I do that, let me just tell you one more thing. Now, I was on Instagram talking to my homeboy who happens to be a nurse. And he was like, yo, um, should I get this phone to wear at work, to, to use at work? And I said, definitely. Now, take it from me. I, I used to work in a medical uh, profession and I wore scrubs for a living. You can't put this phone in your scrubs pocket on the front. Your whole, you got a V-neck scrub shirt on, your whole neck is gonna be hanging down. If you're wearing scrub pants, your pants are gonna be sagging. All right, that's one thing that I remember when I used to wear scrubs, one of the phones that I had the most was Nextels. So I had, y'all remember the Windows Nextel, the black one? I had the, win and I always had two phones. They used to call me two phones, Nelson. You know what I'm saying? I, I had the big black Nextel with the Windows one, and I had the purple Nextel. So when I had both of those clipped on my scrub pants, I used to have to walk around holding the front of my pants up like this. Because uh, them shits was mad heavy and they was pulling out of pants. Y'all know scrub pants have drawstrings. Now, if you wear a scrub shirt and you got that pocket in the front, if you put a phone like this in it, it's too heavy. You're already gonna have your your patient cards in it, your phone, your um, your pens, whatever else, uh, you know, other stuff you got. I told him that this phone I got on a scrub shirt right now actually because this is one of my workout shirts. You know, I'm uh, I'm a peasant. I don't go with my old uniforms. I just wear them for other stuff. This phone fits perfectly in your front pocket. Now, you don't have to be a nurse wearing scrubs. If you're a business wearing, a businessman and you're wearing a business shirt, this is the kind of phone that goes right in your pocket. All right? So the, the, the feel of this phone, nostalgic, classic, I love it. The look, beautiful, sexy, sleek. And the, the, the way it's built is so ultra portable. All right? It's ultra portable. You're just gonna have to get used to flipping it because you can't do everything from the outer display, but you could do a lot of things. Now, I wanna show you Speaking of nostalgia, I wanna show you one of my favorite things about this phone, watch this. Now this is the definition of nostalgia. Watch this, now I'm gonna call myself from the trap number. Okay, now this is not my real phone number, this is just a trap number. Look at this. Now, you're getting your phone call, you don't have to unflip it, you can just answer it right there. Yo, what's up? And then you hang up, bong, just like that. Same thing, I'm gonna do text message, let's send a quick, um. We'll put a test. This is how it looks. If you're getting a text message, bang, just like that. You don't have to open the phone. You can read the message like that. Now, speaking of nostalgia, this is the most fun part right here. I'm gonna call myself again. This is one of the features about this phone that I love the most. All right, if you're getting a phone call, this actually makes me wanna talk on the phone. You don't have to press anything. You just unflip it and it automatically answers. Yo, what's up? Then when you finish, hang it up, automatically hangs up. Do y'all remember how much fun that was? Do you remember looking like the man when you got a phone call, hello? Yeah, all right, all right I'll talk to you later, bye. Hang up. Or remember you was arguing with your girl on the phone? Yeah, okay, yeah, fuck you too. Bang. This is so nostalgic and so much fun. Like I said, I hate talking on the phone right now, but this actually makes me want to answer the phone, all right? This is so dope. <laughs> and this is one of the reasons why you're buying this phone, that flip to answer and phone calls, and also to get your messages and your phone calls right there Why it's flipped. That's part of the reason why you're buying this phone. Now, on a side note, you don't have to have it like that. You could go to settings and make it where when you unflip it, you still got to swipe to answer. But why do that? You could do that from the screen. If you want to answer, flip it open. All right, later. Boom, just like that. Now, you, it might take you a minute to get the hang of flipping it with one hand, but it's easy to close with one hand. Right? Anybody could easily close it with one hand. Okay, next. Let's talk about always on display. Now, that's another thing that I love about this phone. Always on display. Now, this is fully customizable. All right, this is my regular display. When I power it off, here's my always on display. You can change this up a little bit if you want. And then when you turn it on, this is my favorite one because it's kind of animated, but you can have different kind of clocks, analog or digital, but this little animated one with the little happy, you know, happy <laughs> uh, emoji kind of people that pop up. I like this one. I like the blue one the best. Where's, where's my where's my friend? All right, this is my friend right here, the blue one. I like that one the best. Now, speaking of display, let's talk about the outer display. Now, if you double tap, you can turn it on, hit the button. You swipe over once, boom, here's all my messages. I can exit out of that, reply. In, in order to reply, you just gotta open the phone. All right, let's um, exit out of that. 
All right, so check this out. Here's all my different messages. All right, so I got voicemail, YouTubes, Instagrams, Gmails. And like I said, now if I wanted to read this message, if I want to reply, I could just hit reply. Then you open up the phone, put in your pad and your pin, and it takes you right to that message. All right, so that, that's kind of dope. Let me show you some more of these uh, displays. You swipe over to get, your, get rid of the notification just like that. Now, if you swipe over to the other side, music. So I'm gonna put on some music real quick just so you can see what that looks like. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's go to studio. Let's drop on, let's see what pops up real quick. All right, so Noriega, we got some Noriega. I'm gonna turn the volume down a little bit. Okay, so now I got some music playing. Swipe over, there's my song. All right, so if you got your phone on the table, you can skip to the next song. All right, we got Fulio When I See, <laughs> Black Hearted, Eight Miles, hit, hit pause, and play just like that. So if you got your phone connected to a Bluetooth speaker, bang, control it just like that. Swipe over again, you see it's 90 degrees right now in Queens, and I'm in this hot ass basement, boiling, all right? But I'm, I'm boiling for y'all, all right? So thumbs up the video because I'm down here boiling for y'all. All right, let's keep it moving. Um, now, <laughs> let's see what else we got. All right, now, um, this will be today's schedule. I don't got nothing today. Usually I got meditate, but I took off today. No alarm set. All right, Samsung health. I ain't really into all that healthy shit. Then we got timers, could do that too. And that's it. Now, if you want to, you can rearrange these and there's really no more to add. These are all the ones that you could add. Now, speaking of display, you got always on display on both screens. All right, so always on display on the outer display, always on display on the inner display. Now, this is the real Samsung always on display, customizable, got time, date, weather, battery percentage. And if you're one of those people that leave your phone on the table like this or leave it on the dock at night and you just want to see your animated water, uh, <laughs> always on display, leave it like this. But this always on display on the outside is so bright and vivid, you don't need to. You can have it on the dock just like this. It's gonna wildly charge either way. All right, so the display on this phone, beautiful. Let me pull up a video so I can see what it looks like in full glory, 120 hertz refresh rate. Now, before I show you the display, let's talk about one of the biggest upgrades from the Z Flip and the Z Flip 5G to the Z Flip 3, the speakers. Now you got dual stereo speakers. So here's the original Z Flip and the Z Flip 5G one bottom firing speaker, and it doesn't get that loud. All right, so I got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rubier. Listen to this. Yo, sound test, the sound test. Everybody shut See how low that is? Now watch what happens if I cover up the bottom. The sound disappears. Look. You hear that? Now watch this. Here's the Z Flip 3. Yo, sound test. You hear the difference? Everybody shut your mouth, time for sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound? Look, I'm coming up the bottom. Look how loud the top is. Does it sound loud? How's the bass man? How's the treble? Dual stereo speakers. Now you got a real phone. You can watch your movies, listen to your music, stereo speakers. How's the sound, white shoes? How's the sound on it? Now read all of the comments. How could you not like Mark Rubier? Some of y'all bugging. This man is a straight vibe. This man is the definition of enjoying life. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rubier. All right, so now let's check the web browsing speed, multitasking, and Samsung One UI. Now this works just like any other Galaxy phone. Say I've been scrolling right now, Apple Watch article, swipe over, you got all your different panels. So I got my utilities, got the weather, got all my apps, got my people, and one of my favorites, rectangle, oval, animation, and pin the screen. Now if you want to, you can add as many as you want. So let's go ahead and pin this to the screen. I'm gonna pin this Apple article. Okay, exit out of that. Now let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Opening web page. 
Now say I wanted to buy a new Apple Watch. All right, so I got the article right here. I can scroll for it. Now if I want to, I can minimize this, okay? Now as I'm scrolling, say, oh, I forgot what that watch looked like. Hit it again, bong, just like that. If I want to, I can get rid of it. Now of course you got rectangle. Say I want to send somebody a picture of this iPhone. Hit done, hit share, just like that. Now I'll show you one of my favorites, the animation. Let's take it over to YouTube. Now say I got my video right here. I want to make a quick right, gift right here. 230 bucks. Let's go to animation. Come in two different colors. You right. got black and silver. I want to make a quick all recording. Right, so all of the features. Now you got up you to got 15 Bluetooth seconds. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Two devices at the same now time. you got up to 15 seconds. Now I'm going to hit stop. And look, I just made a gift from one of my videos. Now use your imagination. You can make animated gifts from any video that you want. They can be nice or they can be scummy. All right, just go crazy. All right, and of course you got your apps. So let's do some split screen multitasking. Open up in uh, split screen. Bong, just like that. So now I got YouTube on the bottom, Apple on the top. Now if I want to, I just made that a pair. So watch this. So now when I go to my apps, oh, matter of fact, real quick, you do have picture and picture for YouTube. I exit that app. But you see, I just made a quick pair. So now when I go back to my apps, you see that pair right there? I just press one button and bong, there it is. Back to YouTube and Samsung on the bottom. All right, so this is real split screen multitasking. Close all this up real quick. Let's try that one more time. Go to Samsung.com. Now I wanna show y'all one more thing. Okay, now once this opens up, if I want to, all right, we'll just open this as a pop-up view, right? Then I can minimize this from here into a little ball, just like that. Now say I go to Facebook and I'm chilling on Facebook and I wanna go back to that view, bang, there it is. Open up the website and I could go shopping while I'm on Facebook at the same time. So this is real multitasking. There's your pop-up views. iPhones eat your heart out. All right, so now let's do the RDA test, regular daily activities. Now this is how it's gonna look like when you're using your phone on a day-to-day -day basis. Now the phone does have wireless charge, so you might as well buy a wireless charger. When you wake up in the morning, you don't have to touch the phone, always on display. So you can see the time, date, all your notifications. Now when it's time to get up, if you want to, you can check your screen from right here. There's all your notifications, or you can flip it open. Bang. Now you got fingerprint sensor on the side, which works flawlessly. Look at that. Bang. Now, you do have face unlock. I'm gonna open it up with a finger that's not set. You see it just unlocked. Now you can have it where it just pops to your home screen, but I like to have mines where I actually gotta physically swipe it up, so this way I can look at my live wallpaper. Once you swipe it up, bang, you're into the phone. Now let's uh, exit out of this pop-up window that I had earlier. Bang, there it is. First thing I wanna do, check the weather. Beautiful day. Next thing I gotta do after that, I gotta check on white shoes. All right, white shoes looking good. Next, let's take it over to Facebook. Okay, let's see what's going down on Facebook. Okay. Here's how it's gonna look like when you're scrolling through Facebook. Okay, everybody having a good time. What's this? Musing, okay. Okay. Everybody's shining, I like that. This is uh, my uncle right here looking like this, like a jail photo, you fresh home, what's going on? Let's see anything else. All right, uh, my man right here trying to flex the tricep. All right, the trapezius. See a little Latimus Dorsey at the top, okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Shoes, bro. Like I said, fellas, if your girl don't look at you like this when you're talking, you need to find a new girl. All right, let's keep it moving. So here's how your Facebook is going to look. Exit out of that. Next, let's take it over to Gmail, okay? So we got some uh, new Gmails popping up. Here's how your Gmail is going to look. Okay, now look. It says your recent Under Armour order. Everybody been asking me about the Rock Earbuds. I mean, uh, the Rock Headphones. I just ordered them. So we got those coming up. Okay, we got some political news. I skipped that immediately. All right, and that's how your emails is going to look. Next, 
Let's take it over to our right, shoes want to play now. Next, I, I shouldn't even touch it up. Next, let's take it over to TikTok. Let's see what's going down in the world of TikTok. Okay. Now, I'm not even going to take it to my favorite Amaya video because I just dropped off Amaya at college yesterday and I'm still going through the emotional withdrawal, so I don't even want to see any videos right now. But here's your TikToks. I right, shoes, look at that. Cat videos, shoes, shoes, your shoes, you see that? Here's how your TikTok is going to look right, when you're getting your TikTok on. Let's exit out of that. Next, let's take it over to the gram. Why not? All right, so here's how Instagram is going to look. Okay. Let's get your scroll on. Let's see uh, Drake and Yeezy, they still going back and forth. Okay, AR app doing that 40 year bid. Okay, let's see anything else. Okay, shout out to my man Who But D, this is my guy. Anything else, let's see. All right, this is uh, my man Ivan the jeweler. Ivan, if you see this video, <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't try to hate when somebody's supposed to be doing something for you, and every time you look at their Instagram, they out here eating and drinking and living life. Like, bro, I understand that, you know, you don't just work 24-7, but I don't want to see this shit until my work is done, bro. I'm sorry. Yet. I, I understand you got to take, you know, take your time for yourself. Just post this shit after my shit is finished. All right, let's see anything else. World Star. Okay. All right. Kodak and all this drama. All right, shout out to Fake Watch, Fake Watch Busser 2.0. All right, this is, all right, so this person got a green light. All right, this is a real one. If y'all want to see some fake watches, go to Fake Watch Busser 2.0. Let's see who just got exposed. The last person to get exposed was Antonio 2 Official. Okay, coming through with the fake Richard Milley. All right, it is what it is. Hey, look, man, fake it till you make it. I <laughs> fake it till you make it. It looks, it looks good enough on the gram. I ain't gonna front. Like, the way he rocking it, it does look good. But um, fake watch busser is out here <laughs> shattering dreams. All right, anyway, so that's how your regular daily activity is going to look. Everything that you do on a regular phone, you can do on this phone. But at the end of the day, you can flip that shit. Next up, let's talk about wireless power share. Now, this is one of the underrated features and one of the features that I use the most. And if you know somebody that has an iPhone, they're going to call this feature a gimmick until they see how it actually works in real life. All right, so you activate wireless power share, put your phone on the table, tell them to pass you their iPhone, and look at this. Charge up your phone from another phone. No wires at all. This is a dope feature. Now this brings me back to my point earlier, start learning the features of your phone, all right? Don't just be walking around with a $1,000 phone with all of these features that you don't know how to use. Start learning all of these features, because one day it's gonna come in handy, and I use this feature a lot. All right, so now let's talk about flex mode. Now, as of right now, there's not too many apps that work with flex mode, but there's a few that I use, and one of them is the camera. So I'm gonna open up camera. Now say I wanna take a picture of something. I gotta take a picture of that light. Now I can use the bottom as a trackpad. So if you see earlier, I caught shoes on the table, looking luxurious. Then I try to get her again, of course she moved immediately. But that's flex mode for the camera. Now it also works on YouTube. So let's take it over to YouTube. I hit play on the video, take it over to the comments. And while I'm watching the video, I can be in the comments. And if I want to hit a reply, bang, keyboard right there. Now this actually works better on the Z Fold because it's bigger. But when you got your phone on the table like this, flex mode, all right? You want to flex, why not use flex mode? Now it does work on a few more apps, but like I said, the camera and YouTube and music are the best ones to try it on. All right, so now let's talk about the camera. Now, since this phone has a bigger out of display, you can use the camera with the phone still closed, and it's actually gonna make sense now. So you hit the power button twice, there's your viewfinder. Press the button once, there's your photo. If you want to, you can swipe over for video. Now, this is perfect for your world star hip hop moments, your scumbag moments. You wanna take a quick picture over your shoulder, hit the power button twice, open up the camera. Bang, there it is or you can start recording right over your shoulder without anybody thinking that you got your camera going. That's kind of dope. Now, I want to show you some of the different shooting modes. Let's open up the camera. Okay, so you got single take. You got portrait mode. You got photos. All right, now photos, you got wide angle all the way up to 10 times zoom. And if you want to, you can open up the outer display. So at the same time, while you're taking a picture, the person you're taking that picture of, they can see how they look. All right, that's pretty dope. 
You got video, 4K, 60 frames per second with super steady. You can also zoom in the video up to 10 times. And then you got more. So you got AR Doodle, Pro Mode, Panorama, Food, Night Mode. You got Portrait Video. You got Pro Video, Super Slow Motion, Slow Motion, Hyperlapse, and Director's View. So that's you and the other view at the same time. Now, as usual, I don't like to talk about the pictures. I'd rather show them to you and you be the judge for yourself. But I think the pictures look decent. Check them out. So now let's talk about accessories. Now in the next couple of days, I got a few more case videos, but as of right now, for maximum protection, my favorite case is the Spigen. All right, this is the Tough Armor. My favorite case for going out, the Samsung Leather case. All right, this one is beautiful. And the case that I've been rocking every day and I think is my all around favorite case is the Samsung Armored Fiber. I love this case, all right? It, it, it doesn't feel sticky at all. You got that carbon fiber, no fingerprints. And when you flip it, it gives you some extra grip in your hand. Again, a bunch of case videos coming up. All right, so the last thing I want to talk about is the floss factor. Now, this is part of the reason that you're buying this phone, the floss factor. Now, if you're new to my channel and you don't know what that is, that means when you go to a bar, you go to a restaurant, you're hanging out with your boys, you're hanging out on a date, somebody pulls out an iPhone, somebody pulls out a Xiaomi, Somebody pulls out a pixel. Where do you fit in on the food chain? Are you at the top looking like a lion, apex predator? Or are you on the bottom of the food chain looking like a gazelle grazing on some grass? Here's the thing. If you buy the Z Flip 3, you are on top of the food chain. All right. This is the number one flex phone out right now to me. And I'm going to tell you a quick real story. For some reason now, it could just be with girls. For some reason, every female that I've shown this phone to, 
When I show it to them, they say, oh, that's cute. And when I flip it open, it's like, wow, ooh, ah. And especially, y'all know the way I do it. I say, oh, you like this phone? Yeah, it looks cute. Check this out. Bong. And they see that race car, the same reaction. And I say, wow, if you like that one, then you're going to love this. Look at this one. And I open this one, and they always go, oh, no, that one is cool. They be like, oh, that, they, you know, this is the big flex. They always be like, oh, no, that one's cool. Let me see that small one again. Oh, every single girl that I showed this phone to, Amaya, her mom, my sister, their friends out in Tampa, every single female is like, oh, I need this phone. I need this phone. So, fellas, right? Fellas, if you got this phone, this might be the cheat code, all right? Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, select, start. This is the code right here, all right? This is the conversation starter. Now, you pull this out, somebody got an iPhone. You know, of course, if you're gonna go spec V spec, all right, if you get into a real phone war, you know, you're gonna beat an iPhone because you got multitasking, you got power share, you got always on display. You got a lot of things to shut an iPhone down. But when it comes to actual camera quality, the iPhone is going to beat you. And if somebody got the Xiaomi, yeah, spec v spec, you're going to lose. But when it comes to the flexing, all right, because you're buying this phone for the flex, when it comes to the flex, you're on the top of the food chain. There's really only one person connect that can shut you down, and that's when somebody come out with the big boy. All right, if you're at the bar and everybody's standing around you, you're like, yeah, check me out, check me out, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody come over with that big, big boy, all right, the Fold 5 gangster. You just got to be like, all right, I'll be right back. I'm going to the bathroom. Just, just, you know, just, just, just file yourself to the side quietly. I right? don't, don't make a big deal about it because this is the top dog right now. All right, because you flexing, he, he's going to be flexing too. Only thing is he's going to be flexing twice as hard as you because he's going to be replying to messages with his phone display closed. You're going to be opening it up. But when it comes to actual flexing, you can't really flip this with one hand. I've tried it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not the same. It don't even look cool. All right? This is the coolest looking phone, the most nostalgic looking phone. And like I said, if you're trying to meet girls, every single girl that I've tested this phone out loves this phone. All right? Every girl that I've shown this phone is like, oh, I need this. Or they're like, oh, you're so cool. I, you know, I know that hurt. I know. You got to be like, oh, yeah, okay, I know. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Like, check this phone out. Look at this. And you go, bang. They're going to be like, oh, okay, oh, okay, okay, calm down. It's just a phone. Calm down. Anyway, flex fact on this through the roof. Y'all remember my slogan? If you spend a thousand bucks on this phone, flip that shit. It's not going to break. Don't worry about it. Anyway, I know this video is super long. This is the Snyder Cut. Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. And like I said, in the next couple of days, I'm not gonna do a full dedicated unboxing video. I mean, I, maybe I will just for the fun of it. Cause I do have fun making these videos, but I wanna show y'all the, the green version and I wanna show y'all the Tom Brown edition. Now the Tom Brown edition, I'm doing a separate video on. I'm just gonna do a big unboxing of the Tom Brown edition. Then after that, when I do my case videos, I'll show you the um, retail versions, the different colors in those videos. Like I said, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to the Google Gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys a lap. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah. One more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Do two. Spock on the beam up. Everybody 
to subscribe to Flossy Carter for the real tech reviews. Now, Flossy Carter, we know you Flossy. Now, guess what? I'm flashy. Money may all day, the one and only. Flossy Carter, you part of the money team.